Great God day to you all. Welcome to a brand new series in the Kaylee Gunner and John D channel. Hey, you get out of the porta potty. We're going to title this series basically Random Musings. It's going to be a handful of just independent ideas as we lead into 2022 and a great series, which once again we will title Your Best Year ever. Now back in my 40s, well I'm still in my 40s, but my early 40s I went for the over 40 male physical, got a really great doctor and as he was intaking me he made the observation that I had the worst case of ADHD he had ever seen and tried to get me to go on medicines but I refused to go on anything that would you know, cause my heart to explode. I'm not a fan. I believe it was how God created me. And I had to learn to live within my left and right limits. And this lesson evolved from that deal because I realized I needed to simplify my life to, you know, not let the ADHD go out of control. To this day, people are amazed I have it because this technique, it works well for me. It'll work well for you. But we want to start this off with a question. Do you believe that we live in a very noisy world filled with busyness and lots of distractions? Kaylee, do you think we live in a world like that? Yes. Yeah, we do. And I mean, I know you're probably at home nodding your head right now. This is... <laughs> This one's going to hit you over the head like a beast. So Kaylee, in this world that's filled with busyness, noise, and distractions, would you say that it feels like literally there's a million choices you can make every day? Yes. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's not a million, but it's a lot of choices. I'm here to tell you this, my great and amazing friends. It's all bullshit. There's not a million choices. In fact, there is a gigantic illusion of choice. If you want to have a brighter future, if you want to have a life filled with prosperity, if you want to have a life filled with love, there are only five choices. That's it. There's only five choices. If you can get good at the five choices every day, you're going to have an awesome life with a pretty pool in the background and a pretty yard filled with lots of pretty lovely people and God side by side with you the whole time. So imagine the alarm goes off in the morning, your eyes open, you take that first <sighs> conscious breath, you're faced with the first choice and here it is. You can choose to be bad. You can be a bad husband, you can be a bad wife, you can be a bad son, you can be a bad daughter, you can be bad at school, you can fill your pie hole with bad things, you can drink bad things, you can sniff bad things, smoke bad things, you can say bad things to people, you can be bad on social media, you can surround yourself with fellow bad people. Because we have free will in this world, a great gift by a God who loves us. And he loves us so much. He gives us the free will. If we want to be bad, we can be bad. Kaylee, do you agree that we can choose to be bad every day? Yes. I tell you what, and I bet on that side. Being bad feels like a piece of hammered dog crap. But let's go to the second choice because we know none of you people are picking that one. But imagine the alarm goes off, you open your eyes, you take your first conscious breath, <gasps> and then you can make the second choice. Here it is. You can choose to be mediocre. You can be a mediocre husband. You can be a mediocre wife. You can be a mediocre son. You can be a mediocre daughter. You can go to a mediocre job. You can earn a mediocre living. You can eat mediocre food. You can surround yourself with fellow mediocre people. You can choose to lead a mediocre life if that is what you want. You can choose to be mediocre. Kaylee, would you agree if we wake up in the morning we can choose to be mediocre? Yes. Yep. Then we get to the third choice. A <sighs> lot of people operating out of the third one. Really, quite frankly, a lot of people operating out of the second one. The alarm goes off, you open your eyes, <gasps> you take your first conscious breath, and you say, you know what? 
I'm going to do what everyone else is doing. I'm going to be a sheeple and make sure my beliefs are the same as everyone else. And I'm going to be average. I'm going to be an average husband. I'm going to be an average wife. I'm going to be an average son, an average daughter. I'm going to do average in school. I'm going to eat average food. I'm going to have an average job. I'm going to have an average paycheck. I'm going to go on average vacations and I'm just going to be average. Woo, woo, woo. Average! Great. Have fun being average. It's very trained in people. Remember this too. We all had a unique life. We're not supposed to think like everyone else. And remember this too. Habits rule the unreflecting herd. And that ain't usually a good reflection because you're a sheeple. But, to get to the fourth choice. Alarm goes off, eyes open, take the first conscious breath. <sighs> you say, you know what? I'm going to make this fourth choice, this fourth choice. I'm going to be a good husband, a good wife, a good boyfriend, a good girlfriend, a good son, a good daughter. I'm going to go to a good job. I'm going to live in a good house. I'm going to take good vacations, and I'm going to be good. Good. You're going to be good. Nothing wrong with that. I suppose there's nothing wrong with some of the other ones too, but I wouldn't choose them. But then you get to the fifth and final choice. And when you decide to make this choice, it's a very narrow path because hardly anybody ever walks down this one. And it's too damn bad. Because God will go down, with it, go down it with you. He'll go down all of them with you, but he'll go down on this one with you. He'll hold your hand. Gave you the Holy Spirit to do it. As you wake up, the alarm goes off and you say, mm, I'm going to be a world-class husband. I'm going to be a world-class wife. I'm going to be a world-class son, a world-class daughter. I'm going to be world-class in my profession that leaves the world a better place. I'm going to go on world-class vacations. I'm going to eat world-class food. I'm gonna surround myself with world-class people. There'll be very little bit of drama. I'm gonna turn off the non-world-class TV. I'm gonna turn off the non-world-class Facebook or whatever they're calling that garbage these days. I'm not gonna put non-world-class things in my mouth. I'm not gonna sniff non-world-class things. I'm not gonna do that because it's non-world-class. You wake up and you choose to be world-class. When you choose to be world-class, you understand in life, it's an illusion of choices. And uh, the last great part about choosing to be world-class Someday you won't be by the fireplace, rocking in your rocking chair, playing the what if game. Because you'll have lived full out. And what does the world need right now? The world needs you fully alive, waking up every day, leaving the world a better place. Please do something world class for us. Please hit like, please hit subscribe. Please leave us a comment. And please share us around as the tech gods have got us buried in the old algorithm. They don't want us teaching the five choices because the more the people choose the world class, the less things they'll be able to sell you and the less advertising you'll pay attention to. See you on the next video.